Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. You will never succeed in bringing APC down, National Coordinator of DOJ Blast Fire Me. The National Coordinator of the Disciple of Jagabon DOJ, Comrade Abdul Hakim Alaw Alawuje, has blasted the Ekiti State Governor. Kaya de fire me over traitorship roles being played by the governor towards 2023 presidential agitation. He made his call during a chat with reporter while discussing political situations of the country, especially in APC, as regards the succession plan of 2023 presidential contest. His statement read in part, You will never succeed in killing the APC for your own personal interest if you insist, Almighty God, we send a calamity that we engage you and all your collaborators. Allah would just blast Kayode Fayemi and his collaborators. He stressed further, Fayemi and others should remember that this madness is not what Nigerians voted for. In 2014-15, some of us sacrificed all we have to fight for good governance, not for any individuals but for the interest of the entire nation. As at then, our belief and trust was on General Muhammad Buhari and Ashiwajubola Ahmed Nubu. None of these present miscreant governors and ministers that were considered as part of those who we, who we trusted. Fortunately and unfortunately, they made use of us to achieve their personal interests now planning to cripple the party. DOJ still maintain our trust and belief in the two major factors that we worked for until any one of them proved to us that he is not reliable and responsible for the good governance that we have opened from there. We still strongly believe that the two leaders are both fully aware on how what is going on in the party and the effect of heat in the entire nation. DOJ are not anyhow regretting of being in full support of Ashiwa Jibola Tinobu and his way of politics styles. A serious warning to the present caretaker committee and the chairman of the committee, DOJ, are aggressive APC members and APC supporters across the world. The era of just less than 30 members of a party will be a serious headache to the entire nation as passed. Either we should assist you to cripple the party completely or we force you out of the party. Comrade Abdul Akim Allah would just stressed. If we refuse to talk, Almighty God may punish some of us for that, because we convinced more than 60% Nigerians that we are coming to rescue them from PDP evil's net as at then. Now is to realize that some of you in the APC are even in equal heart with pharaohs of Egypt. We want Governor Fayemi and his cohorts know that DOJ are monitoring all their steps and immediately we have a confirmation of undisputed fact against him. We will let them know that they are just the party leader on the paper. None of them can stay in the party without our benefit as we do. And they are just mere opportunistic. We want for Buhari in 2015, 2019 and calling on Tinubu to come in 2023. If the anti-party of IME and his collaborators cannot be seriously punished, some of us, we do the needful to prove to you that without us, you are nobody. From world level to the state levels and, and hopped up to the national level of party, our members cut across and we are ever ready to take up the challenges to rescue the party from Charlington, he concluded. Well, so viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take about this? You know, this group were talking about, uh, I mean, Tinubu. I heard them, you know, they were talking about Tinubu, like uh, selecting Tinubu as the president of Nigeria in 2023. I don't think that would be possible enough. I don't think, think so. Because Tinubu can never rule horse in Nigeria. And Bala Tinubu can become Agbiru's president in Nigeria, but not the real president of Nigeria. You know, this is to tell you that all these people that are talking, look at if you even hear the name, they said Nash, they even said the uh, disciples of Jagabans. You know, those are the people that all these politicians are using during their elections. I'm telling you the truth. 
th those are the people because how reasonable political analysts they knows that after President Buhari, there won't be APC anymore, whether we like it or not. There will not be APC anymore. This one that uh, uh, the DHOJ were, uh, uh, they, they are attacking uh, Kayode Fayemi, saying that he wants to even destroy APC. APC is already gone already, whether we like it or not. It's already gone already. After President Muhammad Buhari, I don't think APC will still exist. Because this 2023, we tear them apart. And that's just the reality about it. May God help us. Because looking at these politicians, one will even wonder what part of the planet they come from. Because the country they are thinking of ruling is on fire. So what are we now talking about? The country that they are, they are shouting, they are com competing on, is on fire. But their interest is all about successors. In this 2023 election that is their own game their interest is just what they want to get but the reality is that we they rule a nation without people that's the questions that we need to ask them we they rule a nation without people without without Nigerian common man may God help us may God help us I'm telling you the truth you know, let's hear what people are saying about it. You know, people were saying that, wow, this is a God for that is at play. Politics is a game. Let everyone play it their own way. Why the threat? Why are you afraid of? If Kayo de Fire may come out tomorrow for presidency, it will be the most choice of the people. And that's it. They said, who be, who be, who be this? Someone that is supposed to be ashamed of what they are putting Nigerians through. is the one opening his mouth now. I just see. You know, the reality is that these people, they work together, whether we like it or not. They work together. And now we know that Fire Me is, com is, is coming out as 2023 presidential candidate from APC. And now this Allah the, 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 the whatever they call his name, the Jagaban, you know, they are trying to go against Fire Me, saying that it's the one that wants to destroy APC. Meanwhile, APC is already destroyed, whether we like it or not. You know, why so, some people actually trusted Fire Me? Let's just be real to ourselves. Some Nigerians liked Fire Me because people were saying that uh, Allah would just should allow Fire Me be. People like Fire Me could be trusted. He can deliver. Jagabon cannot move Nigerian forward. Instead, Nigeria will suffer because of personal greed and politicians within that government of the country. If Jagabon is allowed, it will be party, party government. May God, may God help us. The reality is that most Nigerians, they voted for President Muhammad Buhari. Uh, that's just the lead solely on job creations. But now see what is going on. See what is going on in Nigeria. Even the job itself, the, uh, our youth are still suffering. Even the job that we are talking about today, the youth of today are still suffering. So viewers, what do you think? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you. Hear me. Bye.